I came to rolfing like many people because of back pain. I was a dancer at the time and I needed to get out of that pattern of stuck pain and to increase my possibilities of movement. The rolfer did not focus on the pain. He put me through the 10 series, educated me about the line and Ida's phrase, we are patterns that perpetuate themselves. Ever since then, everything I do, I can see the pattern in a client, in myself, that relates to the emotion or the psychological habit or pattern that shows up in the body. Patterns that perpetuate themselves gives me the option of changing the pattern through rolfing, looking at patterns in people's bodies through function, through the possibilities of more joyful movement and returning to a resilience in their body by changing the pattern. Rolfing is more relevant today than ever. The obvious thing is posture. Everything you read now is about posture and about our intense frontal plane focus into the cameras and into the computer and into bent forward. Those are obvious things. Those have always been relevant. But more relevant is the changing environment and the pressure, the pandemic, the coming out of the pandemic, being shut down, having to adapt to climate change, to cultural demands. Rolfing focuses one of its main principles on adaptability and resiliency, keeping balance through the body and in one's life. The relevancy of rolfing is to really focus on that adaptability that, that exists inside of us now and that humanity even can be reminded that we have an inside that can respond to the high demands technologically, internet, all of that coming at us from the outside, that we can actually settle in our bodies and stay there. Mm -hmm.